guys, we're back. Year two of the Entrepreneur Vlog. Thank you so much for the last year, guys. It was an amazing experience. Um, you know, us going from moving into this tiny little office with two staff and then expanding that to 12 in Avalanche, taking over big office spaces, um, me getting my own office, which is a new extant, new new thing we've added, um, and just just showing you and showcasing with you guys everything that we've done um, over the last year. It's been such an amazing experience and I, I can't wait to do it again. So on this year's vlog, you're gonna see a little bit more fast-paced um, sort of real uh, tips and, and understanding of what we're doing. Um, you're also gonna see three vlogs a week, three five to six minute vlogs a week, uh, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, um, instead of the one weekly one on a Monday. The reason why we wanna do that is because we wanna start sharing with you guys a little bit more about what we're doing um, from a sort of top level, um, in terms of growing these businesses and expanding our network and expanding our businesses, expanding the people, expanding the relationships, that kind of thing, and also showcasing to you what we're doing outside of work because it's all great showing the office, but as an entrepreneur, it doesn't stop there. We do also work a hell of a lot outside of the office. So you can be seeing that. Um, yeah, really can't wait to share it with you. Enjoy this week's vlog. Give a subscription if you haven't done already, please, and give this video a thumbs up. Enjoy. Do you like coming into my new office and I love it. meetings with me? Yeah, it's great. I'm sorry, it's such a tip already. Yeah. Let's go clean. Well, I'm not a company that will do that. Yes, so do I. Me. Are you eating on the vlog again, Scott? Yep. Are you gonna make a Nothing habit? changes. Are you going to make a habit of eating on the vlog again this, this, this year? Season two. Welcome to my, my this, eating Your habits. station. <laughs> so what are we going to expect to see from you this year, mate? Lots and lots of sales. Me and Cameron are going to be trying to share eating. as much sales advice as we can. I did hear just a great sales call from Cameron. I thought oh, that was very, thanks, very man. good, mate. Yeah, it was, it was, I was, it was the, a tough one. I was liking the tonality. Mm. Who is it for? Publications. For us. I cool. Because we're going to be speaking with Starbucks, McDonald's, Pret. So need to make it sound like and really cool, Radio 4. And BBC Radio 4, that's how we do it. I can probably just... I don't think there is a number. That's the banks, man. The banks. Business banking needs to get a grip. If you want to... Oh, I don't want to get into it. Business banking. What? Okay. This is what I have to live with now. Now that I'm in my own office. <laughs> Stop playing with your food. No. They were quite anal about the colours and things because she's a visual specialist but the A5 apparently works well. I can't imagine what an A5 trifold looks like but... You guys done now? Do you want me to show you what one looks like? Um, Talking just about the design. to grow your business start focusing no, I refuse on your to employees sound like engaging growth. Yeah. I don't like don't like this bit. I like this bit. So what 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 are we actually trying to do? What are we actually trying to do? Here? I don't know. Love the right aligned text. Yes, said right. Jo Josh says no. He wants it you the other way. You should down this side. Lovely. Yeah, Josh says he wants it the other way, but I don't. Think well, but that's good. Josh, Josh isn't a designer, but is he? Really? I'm a marketeer, though, right? Uh, oh, here we go. What he's going to say is people read, people ignore the right side of the thing, but that's not true. They read from here to here. Mm-hmm. The first word's still here. But they do ignore the right hand side. The F. No, but they still they still start here. Okay, we'll test the measure. We will. Ready. What should people expect to see in the next season? Good question, Sam. Great question. I think they should expect to see dramas, fireworks, probably us crying. Um, yeah, dramas, fireworks, and crying are the three that I'm going for. All right, sailing, over and out. Um, so I just wanted to kind of have a quick call so that um, we could kind of go... Hi, 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 hi. Making things with Lucy. I would like to... I just got sent a bag. It's so, it's so me. Look at it, Louis Vuitton. It's so me. Ah, it actually uh, is. What is Josh? That looks like my new look rucksack. You can't not buy it. It's £1,200, so you're going to have to buy That's it. That's what I said. £1,200. Put it through Avalanche. Jacob. As much as that sounds like a brilliant plan, we need new chairs. <laughs> yeah, guys, we need new chairs first, not bags. Why, why do you need new chairs? Kids in Africa don't have chairs. I don't like that white border. I don't like that white border. I say kids in Africa don't have chairs. So, guys, life lesson kids in Africa don't have chairs. Well, some might, but we all need to stop moaning about the chairs. At least we have one. 
Please. What should people expect to see in season two? We're going to see a lot of success in the UK and the US. Um, for season two, I want to get a lot more sort of value orientated in the sense of giving out a lot of sales tips. So us guys here doing sales, we got a strong sort of emphasis on learning and trying to include everyone in, in that kind of category. Um, so every sales call I'll be doing anyway will be recorded and hopefully that you can take a lot of info out of that. But apart from that, hopefully we're going to see a lot of success in investments, a lot of success in sales, um, and just a general good atmosphere for entrepreneurs to learn. Coming in. Alex oh, is doing his power stance, getting in state. We're getting in state, so for every call we have with a potential client, we like to get into the, the right frame of mind. So it's what we call getting in state. <laughs> we have our own particular, we have our own particular songs, and then we hold a power pose, boost testosterone, and just gets us to, gets us going. I'm not sure what you guys think of that, but if you've ever seen that before or think that's going to work, we'll tell you how it works on our end, and if you want to let us know how it works on your end, then please do. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready for this? No. Yes. What? <laughs> how you, what, are you, what are your feelings right now? Oh. Um, determination. Determination? Yeah. What else? A bit of worry. So we are going to go and talk to quite a large client now. So Laura is playing account manager, so she's uh, dealing with clients as they grow and as they sort of change strategies and move things around. So mm -hmm. it's going to be very fun. Hey Cam. Hello. Yo, it's uh, it's season two. What should people expect to see in the next season? What should we expect to see? Hmm. All kinds of games in sales, entrepreneurship. Portfolios and whips. <laughs> whips. Yeah. I'm here in Leicester Tiger Stadium. We're going upstairs now to the Brad Tour. We're here for the first day of the Finish It Tour, guys. Here for the next week. Uh, not in this location, but just all around the UK. Checking out Brad, following Brad as he goes around the UK, meeting all of our clients, seeing everyone, taking the team up. It's going to be sick. I can't wait. <laughs> Do you think say yes? All of them. They all say yes to that. And so they say, well, sir, tell me a little bit about your driving. Are you normally on open roads or are you normally uh, back streets? Which, which way are you normally driving? And is it normally, are you an aggressive driver? Alright, so that is day one of the tour done. Beautiful Leicester Tiger Stadium there. That was so good. Just had a few drinks with Brad and everyone afterwards. Met some really cool people. Um, yeah, really, really good tour, guys. I can't wait to take you guys to the whole thing next week. We'll take all the team. Um, lots of really good learning, there's lots of good notes. Um, but now I've got to schlep it back to Oxford. Finish it off. Which one? The hand one. What are we making? Mock ups. Yes. Mock ups what? I'm just swapping both. Aiga. Aiga. Get it now. Aiga. Something Aiga. about. Hello, Mato. <laughs> what is this, 1998? Yeah, I look so cool right now. But Lucy caught that before we did the bi-weekly report and so we've changed his messaging to a higher conversion rate message which we've been using for another coach. Um, by the way, a conversion rate, also Laura, conversion rate doesn't mean they're under KPI. Right? No, because if they sent a thousand messages and got ten leads, oh, doesn't it? No. no. So when, you, when you're writing emails, make sure you read what I said. I did see your email that said we have a 3% conversion rate, so we're under KPI. When in fact, because of the amount of volume you sent out, you actually did hit KPI, Laura. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so remember that, okay? It's fine. Oh, wow. it's if, you, if you're hitting. Really. But your goal is to hit, get KPI well, conversion rate. You, know you have to say who's knock, there. Knock. What? Who's knock, there? Knock. Who's there? Doorbell repairman. Doorbell repairman who? <laughs> Abby likes it. I'm okay, you ready? Laugh. Joel, laugh. Right. Do you ever wake up, kiss the person sleeping beside you, and feel that you are alive? I just didn't. Apparently, we'll not be allowed on this airline again. 